Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to explore a special device, which is important in both electric vehicles and robotics. We all have seen this golf cart, electric scooter, or skateboards. Do you ever wonder, like, what make them so in smooth? controlling their acceleration and speed? Yeah, the tech behind this—that's our hero, the VESC, Vendor Electronics Speed Controllers. Think of a module which helps us to run our motors effortlessly from our own commands, and also talk back to us about its heartbeat. Things like current, drone, RPM, battery voltage in real time. That's the power of this VESC ecosystem. Before we jump into wiring and the core, let's talk about what a VESC is. VESC stands for Vendor Electronic Speed Controller, and it is originally designed for electric skateboards. but has evolved into go controller for all kind of project what make the vsc so special is its flexibility it let you fine tune everything from acceleration to braking all while providing real time telemetry data as they kept it as a open source project lot of companies are developing speed controllers on top of it it adds opportunity for us as a user to have multiple options in the market in the market there is lot of vescs from different manufacturers and out of them flip sky vesc is my personal favorite as its good quality and the availability of this vescs now let's understand the pinout of a vesc module here in the example it is a flip sky vesc and which will be common to most of the vesc modules so first about is a can port which is having a can h can l that means can high and can low this can be communicated with any microcontroller which support the can communication and the second one is like uh, ground dio clock this will be giving uh, this dio means detail input output and the clock is means uh, the oscillator uh, data from the vesc so this can be used to synchronize the data between this vesc and any microcontroller application which needs this uh, clock information this will be this we require only when we are doing some low level applications and the next part is our uart this is a universal asynchronous synchronous communication so with this we can connect to our microcontrollers this tx to the microcontrollers rx and the rx to the microcontrollers tx and we can communicate with this vesc using the uart where we can either give data to the vesc or we can read data from the vesc and next port is our servo pin this is where we can give pwm signal directly to our vesc module from our auto pilot or any cpu or controller like flight module we can directly connect it with this uh, servo pin and we can control the motor based on the data coming from our uh, auto pilot or any other modules next thing is usb so from usb we can connect it to directly our cpu jetson or laptop anything and we can communicate uh, give data or take data from our vesc and the sixth option is uh, i2c like i square c application where the same will be applicable we can communicate with uh, vsc module using this interface from our microcontroller seventh thing is the hall sensor so this can be used to get data from the motor so most of the motor pm motor or uh, bldc motor comes with the hall sensor so this sensor can be connected to our vsc and vsc will get the real time feedback data from the motor so based on this it can adjust the its parameters like how it will be driving this motor we will be testing the usb mode communication by using pi vsc module this is the cable used for usb port connection from vesc here i'm testing with a flip sky vsc and this process will be same for all vsc module now connect the usb c port of vsc to the, our laptop and set up pi vsc module for this we will go to pi pi vsc's github page and download this module So once you press this download file, you will be getting a zip file downloader, and you can extract this. In this extracted uh, files, you can see in this examples there will be programs for like reading data or controlling the motors and all. So first we will get into this get values dot py file, which will be helpful to read data from VESC. Before getting into programming logics, we will see how we can install VESC py VESC module properly. So I have faced some errors during this, which is uh, no module named Pi C Pi C R C. So to solve this, we have to install it properly using this command. So if you go, if you open this issue, we can see this uh, perfect command to install this Pi V A C 
module for python so we'll use the pip install uh, this uh, github link so we have to use this link to properly install our pyvsc module in our laptop if you do any other op uh, other way it will be showing error so i have done this but i have missed this plus icon so now i will be copying this exact code and i am pasting it here so now i have added the github plus also now it is able to install it properly so it is installed so now let's get into understanding the program so we get into this pyvsc examples so here we will check this get values.py program so this program i had faced some issues i have changed some values to a different value to work with my firmware version of VEC. so you may also have to change this value for your VEC based on your uh, VEC's firmware version so this is my program which is just a modified version of the example program so i have imported the serial and i am defining my serial port as dev tty acm0 as i know this is the usb port which i am connected my vsc with my laptop and here the main thing i have given this serial dot read as 78 as the value but in the original code it was 61 it was not working for me because of the firmware uh, version difference in vsc so you may also have to change this or you are, you can change with uh, test with the other values also if it is not working with the 61 the default 61 value you can change into this value and it should be working so this is the basic program and i am reading most of the data from vesc so you you can see it from my printing statement i am reading almost all the data from my vesc and it will be changing the values uh, like values like rpm and all will be changing whenever i am running my uh, motor so i am actually connected my motor with a remote controller rc so when, when, whenever i am running this motor forward and backward this rpm values and all will be changing continuously so we have successfully so, completed the usb serial communication from vesc to a laptop so now we will be using uart communication so we will be connecting this tx to rx to pin from our vesc to our arduino or esp32 or any microcontroller which we want to communicate with the vesc using the uart communication so we will be using this solid greek github page and this uh, vesc uart library which will be supporting arduino id so we will be downloading this particular vesc uart library and we will be putting this library file downloaded library file inside our arduino's arduino uh, arduino library folder and it will be available to our arduino ecosystem then we will be reading the data using this program so here they have given this example use case we will be following the same and we will be running this in our ESP32. In my test, I am using ESP32 module. So this is actually the test value, get VAC value.ino means Arduino program. So we will be using this exact program in our Arduino IDE connected with ESP32. You can use the same in a Arduino module or Arduino Uno, any Arduino boards, Arduino supported boards and you can test this. For clarification, if you want to read the data using Python and into a CPU, then it is better to use this USB interface. That USB interface that we have discussed before and read the data using PyVSC module. And if you want to read the data to a microcontroller using Arduino IDE, then this particular library and particular method is the best choice. So you can use UART to read data to a microcontroller. You can also control the motor or read data from the motor using both of these interfaces so we'll just open this arduino program and run it and test with our vac so i am opening this get vac values dot ino this basic file so here they have already given in the example they are using two serial port one serial port is to read data another serial port to print the data to us so another serial port is exactly for this serial monitor so in my my case uh, i don't want to see this data actually i'm just want to read this data and manipulate this data to use into another purpose so my microcontroller i want to read this uh, rpm data from uh, vesc and give this exact rpm to another motor 
so i don't have any use case of printing this data in case if you want to print this serial data then you can either use a software serial to read this vac data and print it using our serial monitor or you can try if your microcontroller support support like multiple serial ports like tx1 tx2 rx1 rx2 and all then you can use take tx1 tx2 to print this data and rx1 rx2 to read this data and all and always make sure whenever you are connecting our vesc with our microcontroller connect this uh, vesc is tx to rx of microcontroller and rx to tx of microcontroller so in my case i am reading all this data to variables so i have defined all this variable as float so i am reading rpm data voltage current and tachometer readings so that's all you can run the same code in your esp32 or arduino modules i have tested the code in my esp32 and it was working perfectly so you can try the same with your microcontrollers and let me know comments